Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs. So today, uh, we're gonna install uh, an intercooler on the uh, Cadillac ATF to Pro. But uh, we're gonna do a boost leak test before. Uh, I never done that before, but uh, I got everything to do it. I might as well, because I have a lack of power, before going to the dyno, which is like uh, like five days, I'm going on the, the dyno, so uh, I'm gonna do a, a boost leak test to see if everything's okay. But everything was okay, because I'm gonna change the intercooler for ZZP1. So I'm gonna change the oil too, because uh, I did my, uh, my 700 uh, kilometers, uh, which is like almost 500 miles. Gonna be my second oil change after my braking period. So uh, this is now. Right now, I'm in Chrome Tech shop. They're doing hard chrome over here. Okay, it's the shop right beside mine, and I can use on the weekend their garage space. So uh, thanks to Chrome Tech and everybody there. And uh, that's it. So I'm gonna jack up the car, okay? And uh, after jacking up the car, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check to my differential because uh, you know there's issue with the differential, with the, uh, like the air valve, like the pressure valve at the back, it gets stuck. And uh, there's a lot of people like that, that are changing the seals. And uh, me, I come from a stock car, uh, world like back in the day well the, we had tubes and vents not vents but uh, filters over them so what i did it's like uh, i removed the valve i thought it was like very uh, the the load on the spring was hard it's very hard to open so i wanted to be free so i put the same system like uh, the hose with the filter uh if i go under water you know well i know it's made like that i'm gonna drop the oil and change the oil not the end of the world but uh that's it long story short gonna check the differential we're gonna check the oil we're gonna change the oil we're gonna do a boost leak test and uh change the intercooler and i have like a big mouth uh throttle buddy too to put on because i'm there why not So here, here's the tubing from ZZP. You see the brackets to put the uh, the intercooler. We got the the T thingies there to tie it up like very securely. We got the hardware. I'm missing the uh, the washers they, that they say it's supposed to have. But if you see the the, the nuts, it's like. They got like uh, no teeth like so when you tighten it up it, it's not it's staying there but if you put a washer that effect is gone the washer is going to spin instead of the knot so i rather install that without washers that's my preference to each their own that's the tools i think i'm gonna need they have a list i got a little bit more to do like all kinds uh, I might go and uh, get some more in my toolbox right beside in my shop and this is the uh, bad boy right now it's not that bad it's, I think it's sleeping in the box but uh, I'm gonna wake him up later see how it goes this is the oil I'm gonna use and the stock oil filter too this is the kit that was lent to me by MLR, Garage MLR. And uh, first time I'm gonna use that, so I got all the fittings and everything. I got the pressure regulator, and I got like that special tool. I bought that from uh, Snap-on, like a special soap to detect leak. You know that special soap? It costs like a uh, hundred bucks a bottle because it's Snap-on. <laughs> messing with you it's like that block snap on block you know to lift the car and you got that 
and to drop the oil. So that's what I have right now to do the install and the tests. So uh, I'm, I'm going to jack up the car and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, I'm going to start by that actually before I forget and plug the, the battery. There's something else too uh, I want to do. Like it's a 10 millimeters. So I'm gonna undo it there. It's easy peasy. Just pull on it, put it away. in the morning right now on a Saturday so I didn't even finish my first coffee hmm. so that's it I'm gonna jack up the car and uh, we're uh, gonna start the, the whole process citizens in the claws of grey Shit on TV, but it's this, how can I believe in it? Nobody there in who we can trust. Tell me, please, you made this choice for us. Tell us outside the stars boxed in cage. It's like our deepest fears are now a blind break. going to do it because I'm changing for the uh, ZZP intercooler uh, I'm gonna do the test with a bumper removed and everything and really test it like with soapy water to see if there's bubbles and everything so uh, that way everything's gonna be checked and when I'm gonna reinstall the uh, ZZP intercooler well I'm gonna retest the same way I'm gonna do the same test to be sure there's no leak before the, the whole assembly. So, first thing first, change, change to remove the cover. I'm gonna put back the oil cap to be sure nothing falls in, into the engine.
Oh, like it's me. I was explaining to my son. I would like something like to remove the cash can uh, pretty fast. Like something you do click and you remove it. And when I did the click, the click of a bell buckle. So it's the click. You can remove it quite fast. <laughs> From there, stupid ass. Look at that. It's done. So. <laughs> That's crazy, but uh, works good, eh? You see, one thing pulls pull the top. So, next. If it's taking oil by your intake too, every time it does, because of if you see the inside here, I'm gonna take. So you see that that hole here that leads to the diverter valve. Okay, so if it's drinking oil a little bit it falls in that hole instead of being up here or there you know it's here and it always like go oh, here and goes down there so every time it does where there's a little mist of oil like you can see here here it's hard to to wipe there you see but that's before when my, my engine was like uh, taking uh, oil because of the faulty pistons. But uh, when they installed it, well, they didn't clean it like I would do, you know what I mean. But, uh, you know, be, because when you charge by the hour, you know, I don't want them to clean it either at that price. But I'm just going to wipe it right now. So I'm, I'm taking my sweet time huh, to do those videos because I have to do all kinds. But... We'll get back to the program really fast, you'll see. So I'm just wiping that. So uh, there's some more at the back, but it's gonna go for another day. I'm gonna keep up installing the thing. So I'll go get the uh, tools needed. Okay, so this is the installation. 
We're gonna plug our uh, pressure regulator, our air, into that hole. I had to take the ZZP, uh, you know, elbow, silicone elbow, because uh, the elbows or fittings that comes with the kit, <laughs> it's not made for something like a small turbo like that because uh, the mouth is very small. I think it's two inch and a half and add three inch. It would have fit, but the, the real stuff fits better better so uh, I install that so nothing goes in the turbo while we work around uh, around the bumper and everything so uh, next stop uh, we're gonna remove the uh, radiator cover the bumpers uh, my, my lip the bumper and everything so I won't show you that because there's a lot of videos about that but I'm gonna do just a uh, time-lapse uh, about it so me and my son's gonna remove that and we will come back to you when we're gonna do the uh, boost leak test. So see you guys. sensor that's gonna go like this instead of like this under the bumper it goes in between those two like brackets uh, so I test the, the whole system okay I pretty sure test the system before just to know what I was doing and uh, like to see if nothing explodes on, on camera so uh, it was just to be sure so uh, so that's it ready to, to place this is a quick connect system awesome thank you Samuel mr. Mayville he's got that he has to do that when you're a tuner so you got the, the the gauge you got the regulator and you got a shut off valve opening up valve so if don't be surprised but what you're gonna hear because uh, it's leaking a lot and I don't know if it's the real problem but so I'm putting the pressure it's gonna go to 20 psi okay and you hear it the thing is it's leaking by my blow up valve so weird okay I don't like it I really don't like it okay uh, I'm gonna put down the boost a little bit not the boost but the pressure <laughs> so how do we test that yeah we, we take soapy water and I'm going just gonna do an overview so I check at every connections I check on that side, I went under the car and to check on the other side 
because uh, I won't do it like on camera, it's complicated, but you see there's no bubble coming out, and you see by the sound, if I do that, yeah, you see that the air is coming out of there. I didn't have to, to shoot to know it was coming out of here. Uh, I don't know if it's like, uh, it's since I redid the engine, but we didn't undo it. Maybe there's like something stuck under it. I'm gonna undo it. Uh, we're gonna test the rest of the system. Uh, yeah, we're gonna film this. So I test at every connection. So I shoot soapy water here. And I check if it does like balloons, bubbles, all kinds. But no, it's good. We're gonna check here at the lowest part. Checking here. There's nothing going on here, it's perfect. You still can hear. So we're checking this one too. Every connection actually. Know. and uh, I saw in a video like I wasn't looking for that but I saw in a video somebody it was cracked on top here so I said I better check that too so I sprayed everything on the hose here and no bubbles so that that's good that's good so I'm gonna check the other connection here Again, just smelling good actually. Smells very good, that's all. And we check the connection at the throttle body. Throttle body. Like that. And we can check the connection. I, I won't like spray the whole intake because I kind of found the leak, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if my question. I know it's gonna be too late to, uh, to uh, for the comments and everything because I'm gonna have like probably the answer. Like, uh, does it has to be like uh, power on, you know, so it closes? I don't think so. It's supposed to be like closed all the time. It, it opens when it needs to, when they, they got the signal. Sorry, the, the signal. That's when it opens well, for me supposed to be closed all the time so uh, that's it I'm gonna undo the the VOV and look if there's something wrong with the, the o-rings or there's something stuck in it since I rebuilt the engine maybe something like well I don't know not supposed to because we're careful but everything can happen huh? so uh, see you later guys so just a quick overview uh, we did the pressure test again with the uh, uh, the stock uh, recircling valve uh, because it's re recircling it's going back in the system I could do my uh, pressure test everything is fine with this one uh, I'm gonna leave this one for now because uh, I'm gonna uh, test the system after uh, changing it so uh, we go back in time-lapse to remove the intercooler which is like sandwiched like in between there, like the, this one, between the condenser and the radiator, so uh, time-lapse power.
We did a uh, leak test on the uh, the new uh, intercooler, ZZP intercooler. So everything is back. I managed to put back some uh, hair deflectors inside it. Not by I mean inside the bumper. Everything is backed, and uh, our pressure test is uh, it's pretty good. It's holding its whole pressure. Uh, we're gonna put some new oil. Ready for the first start. Everything is good so far. You're telling me to open the driver's side window and close it and then open the uh, passenger side window and close it. It always does that when I unplug the battery. You know what? Idle is pretty good. Everything seems okay. The lens of my phone looks dirty. So that's it guys. And uh, I'm gonna take it for a little ride and see what's going on with all that. Here we are. So. That's it guys.